That was good. But today's video is not about this flag. Today's video, I'm gonna make a new outfeed table for my new table saw. Originally, my outfeed table was in a couple different pieces. I wanted these two cabinets to be mobile so I could move them around anywhere I needed to. <clears throat> the reality is I never moved these cabinets, so I'm just gonna make one big piece to cover this whole thing. This outfeed table is gonna be 60 inches wide and 48 inches deep. We're gonna make it out of a white Formica and we're gonna lay it over a piece of three-quarter MDF. Now, I don't know if MDF has gotten heavier, but it sure feels heavier the older I get. So first thing we did was uh, drop the piece off and we cut it to length. And then we had to rip it down to 48 inches. That's because we need an extra inch when we lay the Formica over it, which is only 49 inches itself. So it gives me a half inch play on each side. Laid it down and then cut it off to length and use the same trick as last time and drop that as well. This is six times speed and you have to spread it all out and make it nice and even and hopefully you get it done in time before your help shows up. And last time I did a layup like this, I had to have this same old guy. And he gives you grief the whole time with a scowl on his face. Remember this? Oh yeah, Contact Smith. Lots of fun. Is that what I'm here for? Yeah. So we gotta wait 15 minutes. Oh, I can't wait for 15 minutes. Okay, then I'll do it by myself. And then when it's all jacked up, I'll Blame me. Oh, blame you. I'll be on YouTube blaming you. Oh. So after whining a bunch, he did wait 15 minutes and helped me flip it over. Probably could have done this by myself, but man, you make a mistake with this stuff and it sticks down, it's done. Now you lay these pipes out and that way you can put the piece of formica right over the top. It doesn't come in contact with the MDF. And once you finally get into position, you can go ahead and start laying it down. Now, I don't know if it matters if you start at the end or in the center, but I just prefer the center. At this point, I can do this on my own, but the old guy doesn't want to have to find out that he got blamed if it comes out wrong. But it's always nice to have a second pair of hands. So I just continue to roll it out and make sure there's no air pockets, which with Formica is not a problem because it's so hard, but thin veneer would be different. I use a flush trim bit on my hand router comes out nice and clean and just perfect. Here we're feeding it through the edge bander, which I thought about doing by myself, but not a good idea. And especially feeding it through the trimmer. Did I tell you how I love my uh, edge bander? I banded one edge or two edges and one side. All right, now that it's all laminated and edge banded, we can take the old tops off and we can lay this into place. Obviously, the other old guy bailed on me because I had to do it on my own. Oh, this is what happens when you take blood thinners. Never fear. So the bottom cabinets are actually mobile and I use a three quarter inch strip to get my offset and clamp it down screw it off in as many places as I could get to. At first I was just going to screw into that one by that I had in there, which has a little dado in it, so it's the right thickness to come in level with the table saw. Just clamped it to my new outfeed table and did some pre-drills and screwed it down nice and tight. 
little V-groove chamfer on the edge, just in case. Mobile base really comes in handy on this saw. More clamps, pilot holes, and screws from the bottom into the one by, or actually two by, but don't come all the way through. Any other guys have these same mobility problems? Test for flushness and we are good to go. Man, I hope it stays this clean forever. I doubt it. This is what happens when this is a major point of contact most of the time. This one's a little bit smaller than the other one. It's about five inches short on this side, but that gave me more room around here and I get in here a lot for my dust collection and all my clamps. And it's about five inches narrower as well. And that's because I wanted to do it one piece and MDF only comes in 49 inch wide sheets. Unless you trim an inch off of it. But it's clean now. I actually had some blood spots, not really sure why. Still need to do a couple things. Got to put the grooves in there, but I wanted this to stay as virgin as I can for a long time. And I'm waiting for the right bit. If you haven't seen the video on my new table saw, watch that, yeah, unless it's not done yet. But thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.